Hi, I'm Penny, this is Penelope's Pit Stop, and in this issue, issue 19 of the Spitfire, we're going to be doing the cockpit instruments and controls. For those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. So hello guys, welcome to issue 19, cockpit instruments and controls. And I've got to tell you, I didn't even open the package before I was going wow. Because look at those details. I know this is a larger scale, um, but I've done so many kits where there's just so little detail in the cockpit. And I've always found myself a little bit of dry brushing, a little dab of red, a little bit of, you know, various colours. Um, this has some fantastic detail on it and we haven't even assembled it yet so I'm also continuing my little experiment to not bring up the instructions instead I just talk things through so again leave comments in the uh, in the comments section um, does is it better without instructions so long as I explain them does it not make a difference or is it actually worse um, so I'd really like to hear so let's begin with the uh, parts checklist so part one is the cockpit frame part two is the cockpit control panel part three is the cockpit control panel instruments part four is the back of the cockpit control panel and then that leaves us with six KB 1.6 by four millimeter screws and they appear to be black and then we have some silver screws which are 5km 1.6 by 4mm screws so they both look identical screws um, yes they are both exactly the same screws they are the same size they're countersunk except one is black one is silver and we will also need the frame 18.5 which came in last week's issue so stage one we require this frame um, which is called the cockpit frame i was looking for a fancy name but it's just a plain old cockpit frame so we also need piece number j which is this round cylindrical piece tubey piece what would you call it and we cut that off the sprue Ooh. so we cut that off the sprue we clean it up when necessary I will just give that I think that snapped that bit off rather than cut it I think I had it at the wrong angle and as you can see that does just make it saying that I think these are painted pieces so we'll see how this goes if uh, if that piece is affected then whoops I will just repaint over it so we're actually going to be looking for this middle um, hole you see it's the only one going across and we want this so that you see it's a circle with I don't know what you call that like a circle with a hood and we actually want that hood bit to be at the back so that will go in like so and I think that's going to need repainting right so that's plastic on metal so we will need slightly well I want a better glue so we get our I'm going to have to put some more glue down there right so a little bit of glue and because I'm going to be applying the glue direct to the part I'm just going to just see how I've just exposed a little bit of glue just at the nozzle and then I'm free then I'll put the first blob on the actual tab and then any excess I can put on there and then I'm just going to give that a quick wipe I just want to spread what's there and remove if there's too much 
and that should be absolutely perfect so remember the hood bit goes to the back and I can't hold it with my left hand so I'm gonna to have to do it with my right hand and now I can't even find the hole there we go so that's in hold that for a few seconds three four five and the rectangle hole is in the shelf at the bottom noting the position of the raised section right okay that's fine that's absolutely fine so on to stage two apologies i have to turn a page here so piece 18.5 which also comes from this sprue um, this needs to be placed in top on the top and now it makes a bit more sense what most of these pieces are because this piece is going in oh that's heavier than I thought that's going into there and then the following stage will be 18.5 which is this piece so this I'm going to guess is a compass what is that guys if anybody knows what that is so however it looks like because it's got a design on it I want to place that in a specific way so it actually looks like it's a oh and of course this is the head up display isn't it so what will happen is when the when the pilot lifts the nose up those two lines going across will go down because it shows where you are in relation to the horizon and it will move um, so it needs to be that way so we'll get to that bit in a minute so next stage I'm going to use this brush applicator um, because I think that will be easier if you haven't got brush glue use a cocktail stick but I'm just going to pop the brush into there like so oh that stinks I say that every time I use it oh that stinks right so count to about five four three two one right so this piece I think it's quite specific I think this needs to be placed exactly right it's like I say I think that's the head up display so that's going to go in like that so there's my practice run and that is exactly how I want to place it so I'm going to do a dip on here and then I'm going to place that in very carefully you know how when you see cranes moving things on a construction site they move those parts very slowly very precise movements and that I'm very happy with so um, it does actually state in the magazine noting the orientation of the markings on part K so yep that is I, I do believe that's the head up display it looks like it's um, do do a Google search or do a YouTube search on head up display and it'll probably show you what how it works um, far far better than I'll be able to explain so next we have two more pieces from this sprue um, so yes yes these are the rudder controls so what's going to happen is these are the parts that the pilot controls with his feet to uh, control the flaps that are on the tail plane is it the tail plane yes so when he uses the joystick sideways that controls the flaps on the wings which just all that does is it makes the airplane turn it doesn't actually make it change direction um, something that I found out when I, I used to I used to be in air cadets and um, I learned that because I would 
I would move the, the joystick and all that would happen is the plane would just rotate on its wings and then like yeah you have to use the rudder as well so I'm trying to figure out the orientation for this um, these do look like they, they go any way round um, but they obviously have to be well they can only go in this spot here so yeah I'm going to go with that so um, right I'm actually going to I think I will apply them with tweezers because then I can come in like that so the way I'm going to apply glue is I'm going to put two, one dab each on the tabs and then one along the middle put it in and then pull it down um, so I can apply directly from the bottle um, but I just want something just if I accidentally squeeze too hard I don't want things dropping on my cutting board so yeah so these these ones these are rudder control so they do not control the wings when used in conjunction with the joystick they will actually cause the plane to physically turn to, to physically move um, so obviously the, 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 the flap will move and then what will happen is the plane will begin to go like that so when you go like that in conjunction with that what you then end up doing is that so you can turn the plane without using the joystick by using these but it's much better to use your controls in conjunction and then you do these wonderful I'm coming to get you banks uh, I can't remember what they call is it a barrel roll no it's not a barrel roll I can't remember I can't remember the stunts um, but they look fantastic air shells but they were absolute fundamental moves in combat they were the difference between going home and seeing your wife and uh, being fished out of the North Sea I know that sounds very grim um, but that was the reality of it. I can't get any glue out of this there we go I was frightened that if I pressed any more a big blob would come out so let's come in from the other side did anyone notice I was a bit naughty and I didn't dry fit this one I've actually said to people in the past I wish that every time someone doesn't dry fit it does actually go wrong and that will teach them and I forgot to dry fit there so I'm so glad that wish hasn't come true right guys so that's the rudders in place and unfortunately that is the end of the issue um, we have spare parts we've used the parts from a previous issue and then we're carrying parts over to another issue um, which is a bit of a shame um, but I understand that maybe next week's issue might have lots of parts in and this one hasn't I mean if we they gave us the sprue and this this week a lot of people go well that's not a lot and you know maybe the last week's issue would have been a bit light without it and then next week's issue might be a bit light um, but that's fine that's that's challenging enough for me I've done a bit of work on there and uh, yeah so guys that's it for this issue I'm gonna put this safely away so let's just fill in another minute just to put on here again what we've done um, I'm really amazed I mean this this pipe work that's that I mean earlier on I was I was blown away by the exhausts now I'm, I'm blown away by all this detail gotta admit this isn't my favorite side but that pipe work wow and the cockpit so you know the exhaust is I mean the exhaust will always be an absolutely amazing piece um, but when the exhaust is one of the last pieces you're going to think about it just underlines how good the other pieces are 
so yeah so guys um i will hopefully catch you in the next issue um which is going to be issue 20 um and that's what um a sixth of the way through so and i think we've done an awful lot given the small number of issues we've done so um take care guys and I hope to catch you next week Hi, I'm Penny. This is Penelope's Pit Stop, and in this issue, issue 19 of the Spitfire, we're going to be doing the cockpit controls. Blah.